distinguished guests of honor, worthy Vice Chancellor Lama Iqbal, Open University, valued guest speakers, media representatives, dear colleagues and students, Assalamu Alaikum. Respected audience, it is my pleasant duty to welcome you all to this August seminar on Kaidiyazam and Responsible Media, organized to pay tribute to the founder of the nation, the great, legendary, and charismatic personality, now world over, the Kaidiyazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are honored with the presence of Justice Raja Muhammad Shafkat Khan Abbasi, Chairman, Press Council of Pakistan, Mr. Idris Bakhtiar, Veteran Journalist, and Vice Chancellor, Alama Iqbal, Open University, Professor Dr. Nazir Ahmed Sangi. We welcome you, sir. Among the guest speakers for today's ceremony, we have among us Mr. Wahid Hussain, Senior Journalist, Mr. Javed Qureshi, Editor, INP News Agency, and renowned journalist. Ms. Sadia Kamal, anchor person. Mr. Savarmani Rao, ex-director, news, PTV, and renowned columnist. And Mr. Mohsin Raza, executive director, news, Sash TV. We welcome you all. First of all, I would request Kari Kurban Hussain for recitation of some verses from the Holy Quran to start formally. Kari Kurban Hussain. مومنوں 
अगर कोई बद किरदार तुम्हारे पास कोई खबर लेकर आए तो खूब तहकीक कर लिया करो मुबादा के तुम किसी कौम को नादानी से नुकसान पहुंचा दो फिर तुमको अपने किए पर नादम होना पड़े और जान रखो कि तुमने खुदा के पैगम्बर सल्लाम है अगर बहुत सी बातों में वो तुम्हारा कहा अमान ले जा करे तो मुश्किल में पड़ जाओ लेकिन तुमने खुदा ने तुमको ईमान अजीब बना दिया और उसको तुम्हारे दिलों में सजा दिया और कुफर और गुनाह और नाफरमानी से तुमको बेजार कर दिया यही वो लोग हैं जो राह हदैत पर हैं यानी अल्लाह के फजल और एहसान से और खुदा जानने वाला और हमत वाला है मोमन को आपस में भाई भाई हैं तो अपने दो भाइयों में सुलह करा दिया करो और खुदा से डरते रहो ताकि तुम पर रहमत की जाए which reflects our national reverence and zeal towards the acknowledgement of the services of our great leader qaid azam muhammad ali jinnah which he rendered for the freedom of the muslims of the subcontinent this wonderful occasion will surely provide an opportunity to brainstorm the connection between qaid's vision and the role of media today I would now invite Professor Dr. Syed Abdul Siraj, Chairman, Department of Mass Communication, Allahabad Iqbal Open University, for the welcome address. Please welcome. Auzubillah min al-Shaytan al-Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you very much, Shahid. I am really grateful to the worthy Vice Chancellor for giving us this opportunity to organize this important workshop on Khaydiyazam. and the responsible media today we are discussing a lot about uh, you know liberty 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 when we are talking about liberty the media is not justified as far as i am the i'm chairman i'm teacher of mass communication until and unless it is attached with responsibility so that was basically in my mind and that was in the mind of vice chancellor we discussed the idea and qaid azam was a great you know uh, admirer he was a, he, he attached a great importance to media so uh, we discussed the idea with the vice chancellor and he immediately accepted and he provided me all the resources all the you know sort of money whatever uh, that was required so vice chancellor i am very grateful uh, to allow me to arrange this uh, important uh, workshop which is really need of the hour and that's really required to discuss the issue uh, the vision of qaid e azam and the responsible media in pakistan i'm also grateful to my colleagues all all, all people sitting uh, in this uh, uh, on dais in this uh, uh, flat one they are my friend since long i'm also grateful to my colleagues friends uh who for 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 so many years i live with them in this universities uh thank you for your participation you know qaid azam attached great importance to media and he wanted media to be responsible liberal but responsible i have some quote here and it's a quote of the indian journalist and that's very important it's really uh, give me great fascination sort of you know make me alert to 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 read this particular uh, you know words of indian journalist mohammad ali jinnah did an extraordinary job for creating a new state and no one else has done such a thing thus far said noted indian journalist Sheila Reddy she added that in her childhood jena was presented as a villain villain responsible for the division of india through the books but now the situation has changed 
and people are trying to understand Jannah. Later on, I found another Jannah in the book written on his life, she remarked. Thank you very much because a lot of people will speak on the occasion. I once again welcome you all for this August Forum. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Dear audience, responsible media reflects responsible national behavior, which determines the overall social approach of the society. Now, I would request our distinguished guest speaker, Mr. Vahid Hussain, to express his valuable comments on today's topic. Please welcome Mr. Vahid Hussain. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Ilham Iqbal Open University, Professor Dr. Nazir Ahmed Sanghi, Mr. Raja Shafkat Abbasi, Chairman Press Council of Pakistan, Professor Dr. Syed Raj, my teacher, the other teachers of the Department of Mass Communication of this university, Sarva Muni Rao, a senior journalist, once my teacher and boss, my dear colleagues and ladies and gentlemen, it's really a great honor for me present here in this August gathering and the opportunity being provided to me by the university to speak on the Vienna of Qaid vis-a-vis journalism and media at that time and its relevance to the today's media. Let me first congratulate Department of Mass Communication, especially the chairman, for organizing this important seminar. The Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, on whom a lot of books have been written by the East and the West scholars, historians, politicians, academicians. He was a great leader. He was a great visionary. And he looked into the future of this subcontinent, and that's why he started a struggle against the forces around him and those who were across the continent. And because of his vision, Alhamdulillah, we have an independent country today, Pakistan. And those people who live in dreams and still oppose the creation of this country, they must realize those Muslims who are living in India today, their socio-economic life, their political life, and the people living here, we, the Pakistanis. As long as the media of Qaeda as Muhammad Ali Jinnah is concerned, that was a an environment where the Muslims under the leadership of Qaeda started a struggle to get an independent state. And Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah wanted to have a media which should counter the propaganda of the Congress as well as those forces which are against the creation of an independent state for the Muslims of subcontinent. And we have seen, we have read about those weekly magazines and newspapers like Zimidar and like The Star, The Morning News, Manshur, and The Dawn itself. 
and Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah have been an editor of the dawn for quite some time and he guided and he knew the strength of the media he knew that how the pakistan the muslims concept the ideology the ideas could be con communicated not only to the muslims of subcontinent but those adversaries who were opposing this new state the media cannot function and operate in isolation it has to work in the unison of the environment and the circumstances the environment and the circumstances of pre 1947 was different and the environment and the circumstances in which we are living today is totally different there was only a print media and electronic media restricted to the radio at that time and the muslims and muslim leaders didn't have an access to the electronic media the today there's a transformation of technology we are living in the 20th century and this transformation of technology has changed the entire concept of media we have a different challenges today we have to understand the threats as well as the challenges being posed to pakistani nation especially after 9/11 and interestingly the private tv channels and this wrath of terrorism came simultaneously and today we have lot of problems socio economic psychological problems the security threats the law and order situation in this country because of the 